Hi, I'm Todd Henderson. Today we're going to be installing this Road Armor Stealth rear bumper on this 2017 Silverado 2500. Now, this is the same install for the 2014 and up 1500s and the 2015 and up 2500, 3500s. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we already have the factory bumper off of this truck. We did make a video on how to remove the factory bumper, so if you want to check that out, feel free. Uh, now, what we have here, I've got the factory wire harness hanging out. I've already got it disconnected uh, from uh, my, mo uh, my, uh, my sensors in the truck and also disconnected from uh, the, uh, the tag lights as well. Uh, so I've just got all this stuff kind of hanging out. What I like to do to make this way easier is go ahead and just disconnect uh, the, the, the harness from the truck. What we're going to do once we flip that over, we're going to see a little red tab. What we're going to do is pull on that red tab to get that free. Once that red tab is pulled back, now I've also got a little black tab right here. I can push in on that black tab and you'll hear a click. Once you hear a click, you can slide that right out. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this harness, I'm going to walk it over to my bumper and line it up right up, uh, along the bumper. All right, now, so one thing you might notice is that uh, I do already have spliced in here. I've got some uh, heat shrink butt connectors. Um, I did go ahead and fasten the, uh, my, uh, my tag lights on both sides. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and connect that um, and I can go back later and, uh, and hit the heat shrink to seal that off completely. Um, but uh, once, once the butt connectors are in place uh, and sealed off for the tag lights, I'm also going to go now to where my sensors attach. So my first sensor is going to be located right here. Um, now the sensors I've already got pulled out of the factory bumper. Uh, it's very important that as you pull those sensors out, uh, you align them in such a way they're going to go right back in the exact same way that they came out. So this one was pointed this way and this is my inside sensor on uh, the driver's side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my housing, I'm going to slide it through now that should clip into place. Once that's in place I'm going to take my sensor very carefully slide it in and that will click in place as well. We want to make sure that, uh, that the seal is sealed off at the front and make sure everything's lined up the proper way. Uh, now I'm going to take my sensor plug and slide that in place. Once you hear the click, go ahead and push in on the little red tab. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take this sensor plug, we're going to run it through our bracket and get to this sensor location here. Now again, I've already pulled this sensor out. I'm going to separate from the heart or from the, uh, the housing. Slide that through just like I did the last one. That will click into place. Once that's in, this one is actually a little bit easier uh, just to go ahead and, and slide the sensor in to the harness first, then back that out and slide that in place and wait for the click. And there we go. Uh, now what we'll need to do is we'll need to uh, zip tie all this out of the way. Uh, we're going to repeat the exact same process on the opposite side. But before we do that, we're also going to install um, our trailer receptacle. So the way that installs is just like this. They give you a plate um, that slides right over top of the factory receptacle uh, and it locks into place. Um, and uh, of course, you know, taking it out of your factory uh, location, you just kind of squeeze on the tabs and you slide it out and it slides right back in uh, to the, the road armor piece just the same way. So what we're going to do is we're going to set that in uh, to the slot. That'll line up to the four holes that are already drilled in the truck. Now we're going to have a little bit of hardware that's provided. Um, this, is, uh, this is the flat uh, uh, bolts. What we're going to do is we're going to run those through from the front side. All right, now the best way to get those through is by using a 7 seconds Allen wrench. Um, once you have it lined up to the hole, you can just, just spin that Allen wrench and that'll actually kind of cut some threads through that powder coat. And that gets it in there nice and tight. So once those are lined up, we're going to take the rest of our hardware 
and tighten those down. We're tightening down the three eighths. All right, so now this bumper is also set up to be able to uh, take up to a 9,000 pound winch. Uh, that's what it would be uh, mounting up here for with a fair lead and all that. Um, we are not installing a winch on this one. Uh, so we have this, uh, the winch controller hole right here. So we're just gonna use one of our plastic caps, pop that into place. Okay, now I'm on the driver's side of the rear of the truck. Uh, this is the frame. Um, now this bracket is a mirror image of the passenger side bracket is going to install to the outside of the frame. Uh, you've got a couple of holes in the bracket that mount up to two holes in the frame here. Now, I recommend going after the very first hole, uh, uh, the, uh, the hole at the top first, uh, because that's the more difficult one to, to get to. Um, I like to take the, the bolt tab and face it to the inside of the frame. Uh, the bolt comes out through that hole, line it up to the hole on the bracket and take flat washer and lock washer along with a provided uh, nut and fasten those into place. Uh, you want to get those, you know, just kind of snug for right now. Um, we still want to be able to, you know, move this bracket around a little bit and do some adjustment. So now this bracket will rotate a little bit, but it does give you a little bit of resistance because we got a little bit tight, not real tight. Um, and next I'm gonna take and install my next bolt tab. Uh, I like to have that bolt tab facing to the outside. That's gonna go on the bottom hole. And again, just like the top one, we're gonna do flat washer and lock washer that are provided for us along with a three quarter inch nut. And and we're gonna tighten those down, get that nice and snug as well, um, but not super tight. And we wanna be able to try to you know, make this as, as even as possible with the opposite side before we start doing our adjustment with a bumper in place. Again, I'm using three quarter inch hardware uh, and tools here. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we've got three bolt tabs per side that are gonna hold the, the bumper to the bracket. So what we're gonna do is uh, that those bolt tabs need to go through the bumper mount uh, from the back side. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the first one and get that lined up. Um, and we're gonna use a retaining clip to hold that in place. Uh, now that retaining clip uh, does have to be fit over top of the threads. Um, and it's nice and tight, it's a little, little more difficult to install than it looks. Um, but, uh, but once you get it started, what you do is you take and you shove it on with uh, a, a deep well socket. Now we can get a friend and line these two first ones up to the bumper brackets and put those on finger tight. That allows us to go inside and fit up everything else and line those up. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, employ the, uh, the help of a couple of friends. Raise it up. Now, as we're bringing it into place, we're gonna go ahead and attach our wire harnesses. We're also plugging in our trailer receptacle. All right, then once we get it lined up, we're gonna put on some hardware, just hand tight for right now. Use a flat washer, lock washer, and three quarter inch nut. This allows us to get this in place. We can adjust it, uh, cut high and low. All right, so now we have two more tab bolts per side to install. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go from the inside of the bumper. Uh, we're gonna go through the bracket like so. We're gonna install flat washer, lock washer, and nut. This again is just hand tight. Now, if you notice, these, these holes are oval up and down. So this is actually our up and down adjustment. Um, on the, the bumper itself, we've got oval holes going uh, uh, horizontal. So that is our side to side adjustment. Uh, so once we have these all lined up, we're gonna go back and use those adjustments to get uh, aligned side to side and top to bottom. Just make sure when you're doing the top to bottom, set it at the bottom first 
open up your tailgate and then raise it up to where you know you're not going to hit the tailgate with the tail tailgate lowered. Okay, so I went ahead and made my up and down adjustments and my side to side adjustments with the bracket to the, to the bumper itself. Um, now, in doing that, I use a floor jack to support uh, one side or the other, or actually even to lift it up into where it's supposed to hit. Of course, while I'm lifting it up, I make sure the tailgate is down so I know that the bumper is not going to contact the tailgate uh, during my adjustment. Uh, once I've got it set side to side and uh, in uh, uh, up and down. I can also adjust at the frame where the bracket goes into the frame. I can adjust that and I can uh, move that in and out. Using a mallet helps to get that moving around when things are a little snug but, uh, but need to be manipulated. So once I got everything line, lined up, I tightened everything down and now we're all done. We can go ahead and uh, drop this down and test everything, make sure all the sensors work and all that. Well that concludes the installation. If you have any questions, call the experts. We're here to help you out.